I'm. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Today I'm talking about the device we recently bought, and then. So, first device is about gas compressive system. So catalog number is AGP three thousand one S. So they can make two hundred fifty millimeter mercury pressure around 33 kilopascal so the feature is like that here and then I will show you how it works by YouTube Hi, my name is Derek from Strex. Today I'm going to show you how to apply static or cyclic pressure to cultured cells using the Strex pressure system called AGP-1000. This allows researchers to mimic hydraulic pressure in vitro, which gives a better representation of physiological conditions on the bench top. Since cells are constantly exposed to dynamic forces in their natural environment, like shear stress, mechanical strain, and hydrostatic pressure, it's important for researchers to understand how cells respond to these stimuli and differentiate between them. This can have applications in endothelial cells, smooth muscle cells, epithelial cells in the bladder, kidneys, intestines, and a variety of other cell types. Whatever your application, we are here to assist you in order for your research to be successful. The AGP-1000 system can be run in either continuous or cyclic mode. System includes pressure chamber, control box, regulator, and of course, uh, vacuum tubes that are required. The pressure chamber is designed to be placed inside an incubator. The program is fully automated for gas exchange at given intervals to ensure cell viability. Pressure range can range from zero to 250 millimeters mercury for a standard model, but we can accommodate custom systems for higher pressures. Each standard chamber can fit up to six plates, but we can also expand the system to have up to two chambers simultaneously for higher throughput. Contact us today to find out how our system can help you with your research. Okay, so they mentioned that they can make up to 250 millimeter mercury pressure, which is 30, 33 kilopascal. And then spec is like that. Uh, they can put six multi-weight plate or four petri dish, yeah, as a single plane. And yeah, name muscle stem cells and skeletal muscle plasticity. I am very pleased to. Um, uh, welcome. Uh. And then we can set continuous or cycle mode. And then the 7.6 millimeter mercury incremental setting. And then oscillation is up to three hours. And then let's see one by one some example. So one paper published in Science Advance, 2019 or 12. So here they are analyzing the oocyte, Nanja oocyte. So when you look at this one, so PBS is normal oocyte, and the CTK is CTK solution is containing collagenized type trypsin and knockout serum to degraded the ECM near the oocyte. So they want to know the oocyte, they originally uh, dormant. Dormant means that no reaction, non-active. But somehow oocyte, they can be active. So they want to know how they're active. And then mechano sensing 
or perception is important for make the old site active or not? This is their question. So first, they remove, degrade the ECM of the old site here, and then they found out the this green one ECM. When they are degraded, the old site can start activate, and then meanwhile, this after removing the ECM around the old site, when they induce external pressure from the exogenous pressure using this chamber system, but they come back. So which means that the maintaining the cell volume you know, by the ECM or the pressure is an important regulator for activating oocyte or deactivating oocyte. So this is their, they analyze the, this volume. So when you see PBS group, normal control, the all side volume is around 2,000 micrometer square, micrometer triple square. And then CTK, when they degrade the ECM, the volume is increased. But while degrading them, when they add more pressure, they recover it. So this recovery, because this recovery, the FOX3, this is some important transcription factor to maintain the dormant, non-reactive stages. So PBS is, most of them are FOX3 in nucleus, but when the ECM is degraded, so cell volume increase, FOX3 nucleus portion is going down, but after more pressure, they are recovered, right? So they, they suggest like that. Dormant, non-reactive oocyte, they have a lot of ECM. So, and then this is non-active. But when we degrade the surrounding ECM, the FOX3 is going out, and then they are reactive. Reactive means they are ready for meeting the sperm or other reactive biological things. And But after putting this cell on this chamber, maximum chamber, right? Three, 33 kilopascal, FOX3, is go back to nucleus and then they can maintain the dormant non-reactive behavior. So like that, if we want to know how the ECM, but actually the ECM major load is the pressure to confine the cell in certain volume is important for regulating this FOX3 nuclear or cytoplasm shuttling. So they use this system here and then in supplementary they show like that this is our normal incubator they put this chamber and then this is their regulator so actually they are using same co2 incubator here so inhale this gas and then put back to in this their chamber so this regulator they continuously sense the pressure of this chamber and then they know how much of volume they will suction from this inlet. So originally the pressure origin is from the gas. So when this chamber gas pressure is higher, and then from the gas and media and cell, like this pathway, cell can be influenced. And then another example is recently published in Journal of Cellular Physiology. So here, uh, they are using lymphocyte. So they want to know the external force, like pressure, can unregulate the lymphocyte reactive. Reac reaction. So they mentioned that this 50 millimeter mercury pressure, this is our system. So resting without activation, lymphocyte little bit activated, but under this PMA and I, this is an um, activator of the lymphocyte, without pressure, with pressure, more highly 
reactive and but one so this kind of study is done recently and then they are using uh, 50 millimeter mercury pressure for three hours for induced nucleolization of n fat one for check for checking the activation of lymphocyte and then their picture is more here like that it's also gas from CO2 incubator in and then this gas is in, in and some is out and some is out here so gas from incubator inhaled going inside and a little bit outside and then they'll go back so after adjusting this number we can manage the pressure of the, this chamber pressure so like control cell without chamber this is with chamber petri dish is too cold 네, 아무거나 넣으면 됩니다. 근데 이게 지금 그 스티어한테 볼 수는 없지. 인스타에 볼 수는 없죠. 네. 꺼내서 항상 꺼내서 봐야 돼. 꺼내서 봐야 되죠. 프로가 뭐 게스를 음. 세 시간 하든지 뭐두 시간 하든지 한두 건을 하고 바로 픽스를 해야 될 거예요. 그게 조금 맞네. 지난번에 그왜그 무슨 막사 이렇게 뭐 Yeah, this is their system. And then second device is micro tester G2. Uh, this is we can say like micro scale measurement of stiffness or other mechanical property we can measure. So their feature is like that. So this is. 다볼수 있죠. 네. 그렇죠. 옛날에 그 버니스처럼 하는 것 같아요. 버니스처럼. 크루도 할 수도 있는데 사이클링을 어떻게 하는지 모르겠네요 그거를 음. 그게 조금 더 이렇게 프로그램 해가지고 이렇게 디지털로 이렇게 쫙 하면 그렇게 하려면 이게 이 장비 자체를 완전 바꿔야 되겠네요 음. 리메트 시스템을 쓰던지 뭐 네. 가격이 좋은 거지 10만 원대 네. 일본이 만들었으니까 좋을 건 좋을 거예요 Okay, so next one is micro tester G2. So this is your uh, your specimen can be positioned around here, and then this is the microscope, and then this metal thing is the measurement location.
저희 PDL을 하려고 했죠. PDL. 네. 지금 이제 스트레치가 되는데 네. 컴프레션 시스템 하나 만들자. 네. 네. 지금 매뉴얼로 PDL을 지금 그렇게 동전을 하고 있는데 이게 깨끗하지 뭔가 좀 어떤 크루도 해요. 어. 성길이랑 하고 있는데 하여튼 되긴 되거든요. 근데 뭐 크루도 해가지고. 네. 요거 하면 그래도 요걸 해서 아무튼 괜찮을 것 같다. So, Michael Tester G2, they can measure compression, tension, bending, indentation, and shear test, and then accuracy is around 0.1 micrometer resolution using piezoelectric actuator. And then force regeneration is down to 10 nanonewton, not piconewton, nanonewton. So, high resolution CCD imaging, and then temperature control bath here, and the simple cyclic relaxation and multi mode testing with real time feedback. So let's visit this website. So the company name is Cell Scale. Yeah, this is our microscope. So this is our piezo mediate piezo mediated. Piezo means they are vibrating here a little bit, and then you can position the specimen here, like cell spheroid, hydrogel, and tissue, and then this machine. Going down and up. While they are going down and up, you can measure the stiffness or their stress relaxation, any other mechanical property. So there are two type, but I order this one. It's more good, more good, better. So images. Let's say, oh sorry, this is uh, compression mode. It's 300 micrometer hydrogel. This is 300 micro micrometer hydrogel. So, yeah, like this, you can push. And then this is uh, bending the strip, four strip, four millimeter and 20 micrometer thick thickness. This is 20 micrometer thickness. And then this length is four millimeter. And then peak force is three meter newton. So around 20 meter newton, three meter newton, you can measure. And then, yeah. They have, they have many different tips. I, I order every tip. This is like uh, flat for flattening tip, and this is for load type tip. This is a little bit of a point. This is really a little bit. Like, 어 그런 거 이런 거 이렇게 누르는 걸로. 예, 말 말. 계산하는 방식이 이게 다 프로그램화 돼 있나요? 예, 프로그램화 돼 있어요. 거기서 이제 이걸 이들 뭐 클릭하고. 음, 그렇게 되는 거야. 계산하, 알아서 계산해 주. 알아서 계산해 주죠. 그럼 우리가 복잡한 게막 네. 음, 걔가 걔네가 뭐 뉴턴 값도 나오고, 자 에어리언 정해져 있으니까 아마 뉴턴 값으로 나올 거예요. 근데 우리가 막 파스칼로 변화하려면 면적을 아니까. 계산할 수도 있고. 수백 마이크로미터. 백 마이크로 지금 스테로이드 같은 거백 마이크로인데 조금 한 삼분의 일 되는 크기인데. 음. 조금 작은 감은 있지만. 음. 우리가 가능하겠네. 네. So this is two millimeter hydrogel. So you can measure like that. Pick twenty. 지금 이게 여기 옆에서 이렇게. 보고 있는. 카메라로 보는 거죠. 네, 카메라로 보는 거. 계속 그걸로 찍고 있는 거예요. 카메라를 어, 지금 
네. 스, 스페로이드가 맥스인 것 같은데. 플래시스 아니고. 온니 온니 데 캐미저즈 메카니컬 프로퍼티. 업투 예. 헌드레드 오브 마이크로미터. 아 다운 투 헌드레드 오브 마이크로미터. 그, 그거가 이제 다음 장비 3억짜리 장비 는 그게 돼 있어요. 요건 이제 몇 천만 원짜리 장비라서. 어. 엔덴 밴드 인듀 예. Did you see this is uh, like silk silk fiber here and then you can push them so they are deformed like that. 아, 스파이더 시크. 스파이더 시크. 네. 그리고 저기 나노 사이버에 지금 만들어 놓은 그런 것도 이걸 하면 돼. 그렇죠. 그, 그거 하려고 한, 한 거죠. 처음에 그거 하려고 한 거죠. 네. So, oh here. Movie. Sorry. Here we're seeing a cantilever bend test on a popsicle stick. The force is about 30 newtons and the displacement is about 2 millimeters. We can do a similar test using the microscale system on a human hair. Bending test. In this case, the displacement is about 0.2 millimeters and the peak load is about 30 micronewtons, so only about 1 1 millionth the load used to bend the popsicle stick. Like that, we can more accurately measure the property System with some microspheres of hydrogels. So just to introduce you to how to use it and how it works, I have some samples here and I got the, the system all set up to go. Uh, so just a short video to introduce that. Uh, right here I've got my test chamber and I'm going to take some uh, spheres which are in this uh, vial here. These are pipette. Get some on my uh, syringe or in my uh, pipetter. And I'll bring these in here. And then you'll see I just dropped a couple in the okay. chamber. So on the screen here, there's one here. Just happened to fall right in the middle of the screen, but if I move the camera back and forth, I actually did drop in a few of them there, and they're sitting on that, that so lower fixed surface in the, in the system. So the next thing I'll do, I'm, while I'm still at low zoom, is I'm going to bring over the, the, the top of the beam here. So we'll bring it over. Maybe I'll just, where it might be out of the frame vertically. Maybe this is there. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and I'll bring that down to roughly the right position. And then I'll fix my optics on a suitable zoom level. Zoom. And move them around so I can see exactly what I want to see in the middle of the frame. And slowing down the jog, then I'll just slowly bring the moving surface so that it just about touches, but doesn't quite touch. You can see it's jiggling back and forth there. So it, that just with the, the as I touch the table, you can see I'm making the gel uh, move and just sit there. So it's not under any load right there at all. I've set the zoom to three, 
and if I move the crosshairs then on the top and bottom of the specimen that you will fix the specimen size which in this case is 871 micrometers. I've set up my test protocol to do 400 micrometers of displacement in 30 seconds. So I'll just select a tracking point that's part of the, the moving surface and start the test. And you'll see we're coming in here to do a compression. Uh, force versus time, displacement versus time, and force versus displacement. This is a relatively large microsphere, so we're expecting forces into the millinewton range, and that's what we're getting. We're hitting about two millinewtons there now, um, coming up on three millinewtons. And you see that the, the sphere, what was once a sphere, now has the, the flattened surfaces due to the compression. And that's the end of the test. And the software then allows me to go in and review this test. Um, if I can find, find it here. Uh, I think it's this one. Here, and I can then do a playback and start to look at uh, the forces in real time as I maybe speed that up a bit so that I can I'll just run that really fast here so we can see that so there's what's happening while I'm doing the compression you're seeing the forces ramp up anyway thanks very much uh, uh, for watching this I just wanted exactly, to uh, uh, have uh, a number uh, of requests for people doing this kind of work and I want to take relaxation cycling is it you can measure pre sex relaxation and then cycling mode also it can work it's same as it's true <laughs> so anyhow this machine yeah maybe two months later it will come so yeah as you as you know as you see before you can measure the microsphere as well as some little tissue as well and then they said they already when you go to this website you can see there like micro tester white paper just they can measure cell aggregate like spheroid and then soft material micro scale band tension and intraocular lens you can download it one of them is we are focusing on spheroid so around few hundreds of micrometer spheroid they can measure like that so Theoretically and experimentally, they can measure as a as a micronewton. Mm. Now, micronewton scale they can measure. So, this is one thing we can do. And then, as you as you see before, fiber and membrane also we can measure using these load type things. Yeah. Pushing here, and then we can get this data. So this is a micro tester. So same same as our normal instrument, but little more high resolution you can measure. So another one is uh, we already have a stretching system, but that one is very big. So I we want to order another one. So all things are from the Strex. Strex is a Japan company, but also they have worldwide company in USA. So we order this uh, automate, automated cell stretching system and manual stretching system you can just manually you can increase their length and then one of them that can be coupled with the microscope. So we are ordering this three device. Let's see by the YouTube. My name is Vidit, I'm here with Amusa Inc. and I'm going to talk to you today about the Strex automated cell stretching machine, particularly the STB1400 model. Cell stretching system, which includes the main unit and a control unit. It is most commonly used in mechanotransduction and stretching experiments. This versatile setup with separate units allows for the stretching machine to be placed inside an incubator while the control unit is placed outside. 
combining for a small footprint. This is a complete setup of the stretching system with all of the wires plugged in. The main unit is connected to the control unit by a quick connector port and also features an inlet and outlet valve for cooling. Strux devices are used with cell culture chambers made from a highly flexible and resilient PDMS membrane allowing for repeated extension and compression. Cells can be easily cultured following plasma treatment of the chambers allowing for adhesion of the cells to the chambers. To attach the chamber to the stretch device, simply align the holds to the pins and push it in tightly. Power the stretching device by turning on the control unit. To choose a stretch parameter, use the left digit to control the frequency and the right digit to control the stretch ratio. There are a total of 64 pre-programmed stretch parameters on your control unit to save you time while conducting your experiments. Overall, the STB1400 is a versatile stretching machine. It allows researchers to simultaneously culture cells and conduct stretch experiments. Thank you for watching our video today. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Yeah, this is a rear stretching system. So any LT system that can be also manual or with the microscope. So now we are ordering this. And then our final product is Pavona. This is a single cell level nano indenture. And then with the fluorescence microscope, but not cupocal level. So ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。ね。
and uniaxial. Uni means one direction, not bi-direction. It's one one direction. And then, uh, like that, you can see. Yeah, also, also manually. Oh, sorry. Hmm, like this. Uh, they also have control unit and the main unit. They can be applied in this confocal microscope. And then. Yes, like that. So the last one, one is the Pavona single cell level nano indenter with the fluorescence microscope. Let's visit YouTube for easy explanation. So they can show how you can measure something. So they have very great software. Our, our Pavona is a uh, second generation machine. This is some first generation machine. They only measure one one side. But our machine, we can make many one in one experiment. You can measure 96 well at the same time as a large scale. But if you have just one dish and then one tissue, also you can you can do like screening. Yeah, many different sites you can measure individually but using same setting. But anyhow, the total concept is very similar to this machine, so I... Very simple. This is their proof. You should be touch the water a little bit. Pray, pray wet.
like that, you can get some great skill. So let's visit Pavona website. Yeah, op tip 11 is Dutch company, Netherlands, Dutch company. So you, you, you can measure everything you want, everything you want as a single level scale. So merit of this Pavona is when you have some one setting, they can measure 96 well all at the same time. So and then also they can maintain the temperature, but not CO2. If you want CO2, maybe you, we need some chamber to input some CO2 gas. And then while we are doing that, we can also do imaging. So we order the fluorescence function. So when we touch the cell, and then when cell shows some signal, fluorescence signal, at the same time we can detect. Yes, this is uh, or this is their skill is uh, pico newton as far as I know, and then unlike this scale, yeah, you can measure many spots at the same time, mm. and static dynamic mm. in any way you can measure. So you can think that this is a high function mode of the previous micro tester. Mm. This tester is micrometer scale. So this is single single cell level you can measure it. And then final one is while I'm searching certain device, I also find one company called name is Matrigen, not Matrigel. This company they can provide very I think it's way better than other previous com gel company. They have very specific kilopascal, 1.1 kilopascal to 100 kilopascal, and the easy coat functionalized with uh, carboxy group, collagen coated one, and non non activated. And then, good thing is that fluorescence embedding microsphere also they can provide, which means we can this option if we buy this uh, fluorescence microsphere sphere bounded one, we can measure the traction force of the cell. Without this, we have to make it manually. But if we order this, we can easily yeah, measure the traction force. And then single, pack, and 50. And when you look at this one, from 6 well to 20, 96 well, and then for just in case I order this uh, gradient of 96 well, yeah, how they are good, I want to know that. So I ordered yesterday. So from the 100 kilopascal to 0.1 kilopascal, they can they have gradient. In our previous company, this kind of gradient things is not good, and they don't have it. And then 24 well size also not good. Only six well is good. So now just try or I order this 24 well, one one, and then this 96 well, high strap screening. And they provide also like plate and glass bottom and petri dish, and then this can be soft slip means that you can one by one you can use it as a 20, 20, 24 wheel size so as a glass and then this soft eyelet you can you can order 0.1 kilopascal 100 kilopascal 10 kilopascal individually you can order it okay. and then this flask type also they can provide it mm. so i think it's worthwhile to visit this website to see and to order something so as a trier, I ordered this this one, and a slit, and then high strap put stiffness thing. This one I ordered ten packages, so we, we can try. Okay, thank you for today listening.